Hey there! Going to do a little bit of a uh, before and after. This is a Epiphone Les Paul and made in China 2010. I will tell you that um, I had experimented with some different things regarding the electronics uh, with the original deal. Uh, found some instructions online yeah, and uh, made a nice mess of things. So basically uh, my ability to follow instructions and solder is nil. So what we have currently is a uh, 2010 made in China Les Paul that basically uh, the pickups go to the volume pots and then to the uh, output jack. Of course we have the functioning uh, switch and so forth. The uh, instructions that I followed uh, ended up having my, um, what I was going for is more of a um, uh, 50s arrangement and so forth, a little more open sound and so, so on. Uh, I kind of ended up with that, but basically what happened is whatever I did wrong caused not only my volume pots to act as volume pots, but my tone pots to act as volume pots as well. So, anyway, uh, I figured out kind of sort of by accident uh, how to make it at least function, and I don't usually use the uh, tone knobs anyway. But, what I did do is uh, order a batch of parts from Stumac. Uh, they have the uh, template with the Les Paul, uh, good controls and all that sort of thing, pre-wired and ready to go. And then I got their uh, Parsons Street humbucker set. Uh, I got a uh, Alnico 5 for the neck and uh, Alnico 2 for the bridge. They are not in yet. So what, of course, we're going to do uh, is just play a little. I've got the uh, Fender uh, Blues Junior. I did replace the speaker in that. I can do that sort of work uh, using the Eminence uh, Cannabis Rex. Sounds absolutely wonderful. So if you have one of these amps and you're not quite happy with the sound, uh, maybe it's a little too bright, a little too brittle, uh, that's a wonderful replacement speaker for it. So, basically what we're starting with is I'm just starting with the volume knobs on 5 uh, so that you get the clean setting. I do have uh, the tone settings, uh, mid, treble, and bass, of course. Those are set to 6. Those go up to 12, uh, as a lot of the fenders do. And I have the, um, the volume, which is basically the gain on the amp, set to 10. And the uh, actual master set at like, you know, 1.75 or whatever because I'm in the house and it's late and I don't want to, you know, blast my ear off or wake anybody up. So, there we are. I'm uh, just going to play something kind of simple and then when we get all the changes, of course, I'll film that. Um, and then we'll mash them all together and make the comparison. So, here we go. Uh, Essentially, again, half volume up. just the right spot that you want. Uh, ideally for me what I was looking for is a, um, again the more open 50 sound and so forth. Uh, the second thing I'm going to go for, uh, I like the Epiphone uh, dot or the 335 uh, arrangement where the pickup volume knobs are uh, independent. In other words, if I'm in the middle I can turn up and down the bridge separately from turning up and down the um, neck. So I like to have that blending there. So. We're going to try that. Of course, I'm going to get somebody that knows what they're doing to actually finish the installation uh, so that it's right. Alright, so here we are full up.
somewhat sensitive to how hard we pick and or strum uh, as far as being able to uh, adjust the levels of gain, you know, with the power of the guitar hitting the amp and so on. Uh, so we should have some subtleties in our own playing, but at the same time, the controls, you know, do play a role. Uh, with that, we'll go with a uh, bit of a strumming here. Uh, again, volumes are full up on the guitar. <laughs> So, uh, we've done all the work, got everything changed, everything's working just fine. I've uh, changed the pickups, and with the electronics batch, we got uh, a new switch, uh, new potentiometers and capacitors, etc. and so forth, all new wiring. I even changed the, um, the ground wire. So, it's all fresh and clean. And uh, <clears throat> so, just like last time, we're going to uh, I'll, I'll play the same phrases and so forth with the same settings so that you can compare. One to the other. Uh, one thing I will say is that um, uh, with most Les Paul wiring, the um, volume knobs are, are working together. Uh, as an example, if we're in the middle position and I have everything all the way up, okay, if I rolled one all the way down, let's say either the bridge or the neck, it would go completely silent. But I've had this one uh, reversed a little bit to where I can alternate between the two. Blend them however I want. So that will change the tone uh, in the middle position a little bit. Uh, the other, uh, I guess, normally either all the way on the uh, neck or all the way on the bridge, it shouldn't change it that much, uh, if at all. So just wanted to let you know that that's uh, that's a little bit different on this one. So uh, anyway, back to uh, where we were. I think we were going about uh, halfway up on everything and just uh, playing a little phrase here. So. comes from uh, the little change that we made uh, where the uh, volume knobs are, I guess it's called decoupling. Uh, but anyway, there's some uh, other modifications we can do to uh, bring, bring back some of the brightness, if, if that's what you want, which I think I'm going to do for myself anyway, just to test it. So. to them, uh, so you'll notice more of the grit coming in from the, um, from the amp. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, again, it's a Fender Blues Junior, so there's just volume and master. Volume kind of acts like a gain knob, uh, and I have that set on 10, just as we did before. So. position okay, it has a little bit less gain to it, a little grit, less grit okay, than does the neck or eventually the bridge. Okay, 
So I use a uh, Epiphone dot and uh, like the 335, and those are decoupled uh, with the volume knobs as well. Uh, so that's that's kind of why I like that. So that uh, in the middle it's a little uh, less intense, and so I can use that as more of a um, strummy jangly kind of a setup. So anyway, uh, on to the bridge. <laughs> strumming before. See if you notice a much difference.